three likes how y'all doing today well let's get some intro going i'm on the acoustic today because the uh electric guitar is on the bench so here we go uh how do we start it this time <laughs> A few people in the house. How y'all doing today? Good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, I got the acoustic here. This is not really an ovation. <laughs> no, it's a. It's not an ovation. It looks like one, but it's actually an applause. Get it? Not ovation. Applause. Is that funny or what? Oh my God! It's made by Ovation, but uh, it's their entry entry level guitar. <laughs> a couple hundred bucks, uh, but it's beautiful, and I love the color. All right, let's see, man. We got all kinds of stuff to do here today, guys. Uh, let's put this somewhere. How about over there? Okay. Yeah, we gotta play you guys out of here. Oh wow, we got seven people in the house. Okay, so Blister and Barnacles. Hello, hello, my man. I'm gonna throw these on because I'm gonna show you guys some uh, silver while I say hello to everybody. Uh, we got Scott Silver. I just watched a video from you. Oh. 45 minutes ago, I think, maybe an hour ago. Um, yeah, but I don't know what to do with the, you know, the gold going up. I'm actually, I'm selling some gold today. I'm going to buy a little bit of silver. Actually, I'm going to replace uh, money for what I already bought silver just recently. I'm going to show you guys some of that stuff here. But, uh, yeah, um, the ratio, I think, is pretty decent. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, we got, oh, that guy drags right on. Uh, who else? We got BBA, Blistering Barnacles in the house. Uh, William E., how you doing, buddy? Scott Silver, I already mentioned. Uh, West Texas, good morning, man. Are you frying up that bacon? I fried up some the other, uh, yesterday morning. It came out, uh, hickory smoked. Good stuff. Thick. I don't usually like thick, but this was good thick. You know what I mean? Anyways. All right, so, um, yeah, let's, I got so much to go through. Uh, coin show. Silver I picked up there. Uh, I got a game night coming. We're gonna, I'm gonna do a giveaway I'm almost at 888 subscribers right now. Uh, I've just hit 250,000. That's right. A quarter of a million, guys, views. A quarter of a million views this morning. Uh, I have 1,000 videos. I wanted to keep it at 999. I think I'm going to take one away that doesn't belong there. <laughs> Anyways, it's going to be like a 888 subscriber, 1,000 viewed, quarter million. or yeah, All that good stuff. Should be fun. And we're going to do some casino type gaming here actually one is going to be a traditional game to, to that's going to it's going to be some contests to get a seat at, we're going to have maybe two seats for sure maybe three if i can think up of another game to throw in we might do three players and i will be yep i will be the dealer me so i'll be standing and uh there'll be two or three players at the gaming table the contest will Figure out who's going to play for, I'm going to give away silver. I might win it back or it might give go to one of the players. So we'll see. It's going to be one ounce uh, ship coin. It's going to be sweet. So let's, uh, and I'm going to give you guys. So if you're here right now uh, or in about 20 minutes, when I tell you the contest rules, you're going to get a serious advantage. Okay. Uh, definitive advantage over all the other players. Cause I will not be announcing, I, I will be advertising that I'm going to have this and it's going to be in about two weeks. It'll be early in the morning, like around this time. And, uh, 
yeah, um, I, I will be announcing it. I'm going to advertise for it because I want a lot of people to come. But I will only give the rules and then immediately start the game. So these people will not have time to think about this contest and how it works. Like you will, you will, because you're paying attention right now. Heck yeah, let's do this. Okay, so uh, yeah, stick around and oh, here's there's a couple of catches uh, or hitches. Uh, you got to be there to win, uh, for sure. Winners must be present. And what was the other hitch? Oh, it'll come to me as I explain. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, it'll come to me. Don't worry. All right, hey, we got somebody shouting out what uh, West Texas dropping Scott Silver. I love it. Drop your links, guys. Drop links to your videos. If there's something you have just put out, please advertise because people here might watch it. All right, so. Let's, well, okay, this came in the mail. Uh, sticker mule, it was five bucks. Included shipping, five bucks. It was a special. Uh, they send you emails, yep, temporary tattoos. I got some more. And I showed you guys a picture of like the mock-ups, uh, community post. So check this out. So it was five for $5, yeah, and these are tiny ones. They're, there's two fingers. Yeah, they're a uh, two inch by one inch, something like that, Not one and a quarter, something. Something like that, but so they're supposed to send you five. Well, there's six in this bag, which is cool. So they sent me an extra. Check me, I got them upside down. Yeah, I'm blind. Blind as a bat. Upside down and backwards. How did I have it backwards? Oh, because it's a tattoo. Hello, is that sickness or what? Tiny little tats. I got six of those. So I'm probably going to give away uh, to whoever makes it to the table will get a consolation prize on this game night that we have. So the consolation prize, let me explain that. That's going to be a holographic Liberty Bleed sticker. A brand new, small Liberty Bleeds logo tattoo matches the board. And, um, well, one of these. I got a bag of these around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. One of these. I got a few left. So I got a, I've got, some of these are spoken for, but uh, I've got a few left. So, yeah, that will be the consolation prize if you make it to my table to challenge me for the one ounce of silver. So this should be a lot of fun, man. I, I sure hope everyone comes and makes it. Um, so that's the consolation prize that the players who make it to the table will receive. And I might win that silver back or it might go out to somebody. And we'll find out. Hey, Silver and Cigars is in the house right on. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. All right, I don't think anybody else knew. So you guys all are getting a leg up on this as soon as I explain these rules. Oh, so, right, so back to these. I got, uh, so six in the bag, which is so cool, extra. And then they do this. They don't ruin it. Like with the stickers, you get stickers, they, uh, they ruin it. They put the sticky crap on top of the sticker, and when you peel it off, it's all full of adhesive, so you can't use... Like their proof one or whatever they call it. I don't know. Just their ident identifier. So look at that, man. So seven tattoos, five bucks shipped from... Got to shout them out, man. I got to shout them out. That's a good deal, man. Sticker Mule did me right. And I'm loving these tattoos. They're so cool. Anyways, all right, let's get this out of the way because we got a ton of stuff to go through. And real quick, while West Texas is still available and in the house, I believe, I kind of wanted to do this in a minute, but I don't think it will knock over too much. He sent me a package. He sent me an Amazon package. Such a cool guy. And I've got actually something right here I'm going to send him. I've started a, a package for him. Check this out, guys. And I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see. But this is just total coolness. Look at it. Yeah, he sent me a flag. He sent me a skull and crossbones flag. Check it out, man. So I'm going to definitely be getting creative with this on the set and uh if your captain bleeds he'll be borrowing that you know how he always borrows everything of mine and uh not only did he send me one flag he sent me a freaking set man check this out look at this look at this it's nice too man check out brass grommets check it out oh it's sheer i like that Ooh. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. They're huge, too. They're for four by six. You see his whole face. He's got a patch on. He's got the sword handles. What the heck is going on, West Texas? You rock, brother. Heck yeah. West Texas. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, buddy. These are so freaking cool. Definitely backdrop material. <laughs> Absolutely. And flying around in the backyard, maybe up on the flagpole. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, so those are those items. Uh, oh, yeah, so let's get into this. I picked this up with the uh, Archangel Coins a few days ago, and it made me think of West Texas. Uh, when I was there, they I asked to buy these. Um, they're, they're five bucks, yeah, they're five bucks. But um, uh, they just threw them in when I bought this set, which, check this out. Have you guys seen these? This is just crazy all day long, man. They're all different uh, upside down, left and right. But it's a full set. Yeah, man. Every, the 10 Bill of Rights. So there's 10 rounds. Yeah, man. Check those out. I had to get it. Um, there is a little bit of damage. Uh, and the like, two middle ones are kind of uh, toned more. But right, can you see on the end here? And they've got like a little scotch tape. It's kind of torn. Oh, where is it? It's torn. Gosh, I can't even. Oh, yeah, right right in there. And it's kind of, kind of scotch taped up a little bit. But still, oh, man, look at that. Johnson Matthew, man, look at these things. Well, let's look at the toned. Let's get the right side up. Look at that, man. What? What? Is that crazy cool or what? Yeah, man. Anyway, so yeah, when I picked those up, they uh, threw in these because I had my eye on them because, well, they're from Texas Station. Here, This used to be here in Las Vegas, and it's no longer here. Uh, and it made me think of Tex West Texas, so I thought I'd just grab him a, a deck of cards because I collect these and I like to spread them around. Uh, yeah, I sent, uh, I think, Akadaka some, uh, uh, somebody else too, I think. But uh, yeah, so those and those are going to be part of the game that we're going to. I'm going to explain in just a moment. Uh, also, got this in the mail, and um, maybe I should have put Stacker on it, but that's how he's got his address. Uh, uh, this Austrian Stacker, of course. Uh, I sent this, and it did not make it. It look, mm -hmm. yep, got returned, man. It got returned, refused actually. Yep, Austria does not want uh, Liberty bleeds silver filth within its borders. I, I understand. I, I, I kind of get that. I mean, you know, a bunch of this crap in your country, you know, you know, you don't want to find that in the gutter. You, you know, you, you don't want someone turning this in at the bank or, or you know, at the casino and, and, you know, getting arrested. We, I, I get it. Austria. Okay. I get it. You don't want my stuff. Okay. No tattoos for you. Okay. All right. No gold backs either. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool, crazy stuff in here. Copper round, gold back. Uh, I'm going to get with Austrian. Uh, we have, I've already kind of talked to him about it, and um, we're going to figure out how to get this package to him. So uh, that was kind of a bummer because it took eight weeks to get it back, and, and it took me forever to mail it. And yeah, one day, one day. Um, let's see who's here. Missing everybody. Got Chuck and Blatt to hello. How, yep, Silver Lovers, that's for sure. Heck yeah. Uh, anybody else new? Uh, waxes his balls. OTG waxes his balls with the B squared sticker. Oh, dude. Oh, it's getting a little brutal in the chat. I love it. I love it. Right on. Yeah. Bang each other around. This is like fucking hockey, man. Boom. Oh, come on. Let's see some bashing. Okay. Um, I love it. It's all good fun. Hey, Mark. Oh, my God, Mark. I. Good morning. And, uh, I, I've got to make an announcement. Uh, it's going to be about two weeks before I actually mail anything out again. Uh, and I got a package coming for you, Mark. But, uh, yeah, I just talked about this Austrian stacker mail. Um, I, there's, I'm way behind. And, uh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, so, Mark, you got something coming. You sent me those beautiful, beautiful uh, kookaburri. And, uh, man, the, yeah, the Zombucks are just outstanding. I love them. So let's talk about some more silver here uh, at the coin show. I'm knocking stuff all around. Yep, so I went here. This was a last weekend, I think. Yeah, it was a week. Yeah. Was it last weekend? A weekend? Yeah. It's been like 10 days. Uh, uh, April 5th and 7th. I only went to the very first day. I, I thought I'd be back second. Even third day did not go back. So I kind of blew it. Uh, I did make a video on it. I made some shorts. And yeah, I'll do better next time. Uh, so the next one is July 26th and 28th. And then we have a November 1st and 3rd. And this is only CK shows. So... This is just one company that does coin shows here in Las Vegas. And, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, they're doing them at the Tuscany, which is a really nice place. Yep, CK shows. There you go. Yep. 
uh, very, the lady, I, th I think I know the, she's a high up in this and she's a super sweet lady. And when I was in there last time, she's like, Hey, Liberty bleeds. How you doing? She was so like, just super cool and sweet lady. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah, CK shows. Check them out on Instagram. Uh, they're they're pretty big over there. They advertise all everything they do on that. And uh, and then I think they're linked to the Numismatic Society, which is also linked because they have their show. Uh, the Numismatic Society uh, has their meetings at the oh gosh, uh, Arizona Charlie's, which is right by Archangel Coins. So I think the gentleman who owns Archangel Coins is also a big higher up in the, uh, the numismatic society. That's why he does it. He must live over there. He does it right next door in the hotel in the convention rooms. And then this lady, the CK shows, uh, I think he, he worked with her as well. So yeah, it's a, I'm, I'm getting into the community with the coin shows here. So it, it's, it's, it's really cool, man. I'm really enjoying meeting all these awesome, awesome people and learning so much. It, it's great. So, yeah, while I was there, of course, I picked up my badge. That was pretty sick, right? Gold freaking Libertata. Wow, man. Look at that. 37.5. Man. Anyways, yep. So they give out these really cool thick, like, you know, you can throw that in the washing machine for a year and it'll be fine, man um let's see i'm clearing this off all right cool um okay so uh the, the first guys i stopped at actually there were so many i can't pick that up that's crazy uh so many uh silver poor artists there and there's tons of coins tons of currency i you know i'm gonna show more of that next coin show because i know there are people who like it um and i went to this table first over there they had the, it's called the poor portal like p-o-u-r-p-o-r-t-a-l the poor portal where they had like probably 10 of these guys and a few of them I've already met and introduced myself to and purchased from. And then a few of them I wanted to meet so bad, like DNGR. Uh, there, yeah, there's a... Uh, uh, oh, check this out. I was picking my son up. I stopped at the crosswalk on Koval and... Um, Co yeah, Koval and, oh, and Flamingo. And uh, Haley Bug, Haley Bug himself walked across the crosswalk i wanted to like yell out the window hey Haley bug he wouldn't even know me i recognized him because i saw him at the show but i didn't get to see him yet or talk to him but i he had a backpack on and i stuck in his hat i knew it was Haley bug he's like walking only in vegas man right because we're having the shows here it was so cool it was a moment it was a coin collecting moment or silver pour or silver stacker collector moment and that was so cool uh emergency vehicle going by so i didn't want to like say hey dude and stop him in the middle of the crosswalk but anyways hard knocks first place I'm talking up a storm and yeah, I've had four cups of coffee. So, um, yeah, hard knocks and Buffalo, they've done a, um, a bullion. They've, they've done collaboration and they made this and you guys might have seen this already in the short I did with like a cactus, like, uh, like, uh, no, that was, that was that one. No, I'm sorry. This is a different one. This one I did with a sunflower. Yeah. It was sitting inside a sunflower. Got some Viking silver right there, man. Check that out pretty sick i love the antiquing i like the this is like wild pig style that where they do that chiseled kind of looking edge like granite chiseled granite looking edge and then look at this they've got they do laser etching like scorpion metals so yeah man that's uh, i had to get i like to get when i pick up a piece i like to get at least one from each person i talk to and you know just something small like an ounce or half ounce or you know, not too big, just so I could support them a little bit. And then also, you know, have something to show to talk about. And also a great memento or souvenir to remember the show by. So, heck yeah, man. Uh, these guys were so cool, man. Yep, hard knocks. They, very cool. And Buffalo Bullion. All right, so that's the, those guys. Let's set that over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. All right, and then um, get that out of the way. Oh, and then also I went to, um, and this was I bought from Wild Pig. Yeah. I picked this up from Wild Pig, and it's got, like, the night vision goggles on. And so I did, like, a short where it was, like, green, like, night vision with cactuses. And, uh, yeah, well, that's the back of it. I never showed that in the short. So there's the back. They changed their uh, font up a little bit, a little scrolly kind of uh, free handy looking. 32 grams. Really, look at that. Fat, rollo, chunky. Yeah, man. And, uh, yep. This is actually, they sold all of their silver. A, a vendor walked by in the show, like, 10 minutes before I got there, oops, and uh, and he bought every piece of silver they had. He's like, I'll take every one you have. Just give me tell, give me a list and just give me a number and I, I'm buying them all. So they were packing it all up. And uh, one of the wild pig guys, he's like, you want one of those? I, he's like, they don't know exactly how many we have. And we haven't, you know, actually sold, sold yet, but he's taking them all. You want one? I was like, heck yeah, bro. So, yeah, I picked that up. 
from the man himself right there super cool piece so glad i got that excellent memento for the show skulls i love skulls and then um also they had a at wild pig they had a case with uh some yeah baby some of that and you've seen this i've shown a couple of shorts and uh it's, it's in the video of the coin show the video of the coin show is about nine minutes long and it just shows a bunch of the cases and my journey getting there and yeah look at that hauser miller and i had my eye on this at the last coin show i didn't have enough money to buy it but he still had it. He said he he wanted to uh, make sure he had it there for me. Yeah, I'm sure he tells everybody that. But yeah, Hauser Miller. Um, yeah, uh, super, super sweet. I paid uh, 58 bucks for this, which I think is a pretty good deal because I think the lowest I found him is around 80, 75 or 80. So yeah, I think I did pretty good on that one. Set that over there. Oh, uh, this is uh, some booze. Uh, Peter J. He's probably sleeping right now. It's probably about three in the morning there in Australia. He sent me a whole box of stuff, man. And I, I thought maybe I'd finish that. We'll see if he pops in. <laughs> he probably not. Uh, Hauser Miller bar, right, Mark? Uh, isn't that cool? Look at that thing, man. Here, let's show that a little more. It's got such a reflection. I don't want to show this crappy room here. But look at that, man. It's just so cool. Oh, I love it. Uh, I really like it. It's got like nice rainbow toning coming over it. Purdy, 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 purdy. All right. All right. Let's see what everybody else is saying. Uh, oh, hey, Long Live Coins is in the house. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, we got uh, CLD, Clear Lake Drive isn't here. Right on. Chuck and Plata, Silver and Scars is still here, I think. Mark Samuelson, Stack Attacker Wager. Right on. He's in the house. It's not too late. Right on. Or it's not too early, I should say. Stack Tiger Ways, you're glad you're here. Um, and then the last thing, this guy I saw at the show, uh, he had a bin, bargain bin, and I just happened to walk by, you know, real quick leaving, and I saw this, and I'm like, panda? I've never seen a panda that looked like that. And it was in the bargain bin. They said $30, you know, it was $29 that day, I think it was, or $28.50 was a spot price. And I was like, hold on, let me look at that. And uh, I don't know if I'm getting this in focus here, but... I was like, man, that that's not a regular panda. It's like it's just a it's a round, and uh, yeah. The so I just bought it not knowing anything about it, uh, just that it was cool and I wanted it for thirty bucks. Uh, Read it, Edge. You guys can see that. And so I so I bought it and I got it home and I uh, looked it up and uh, it's actually I thought it was made in China because of the Chinese writing, but no, it's it's this was made in. Uh, is it Austin or Dallas, Texas? It's made in Texas. Can't remember which city. Uh, in the early '80s, can't find a year on it. Probably '83, '84, right around there. But uh, yeah, this is made uh, to commemorate the panda coins, I guess, in China in the '80s. A very strange, but very cool. So yeah, I picked that up for thirty bucks. I was like, yeah, it's kind of an oddity and kind of fun. Throw that over there. I don't know if you guys can see any side stuff. Yeah, a little bit looks like. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys hung out long enough. Thanks, man, for uh, got my little spider light shining over here for uh, hanging with me. And uh, I want to explain some of these rules here. So let's get to this. Um, get rid of these bags. All right, so I got a couple of contests that I've devised, and you know, I'll, I'll take some input here. I, I'm you know, I'm just 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 stuff coming out of my head. You know, I'm just making it up as I go, right? Isn't that the way? The way to do it, make it up as you go. All right, let me take these off because it's silly. There's one. There's two. All right. Okay, so uh, we'll call it, uh, I have a friend, I don't really have a, a name name, but uh, we're going to call it Game Night. And right now there's uh, contests uh and the first and there might be a third maybe you guys can think of one right now uh, while we're doing this and we could do a dry run if you guys i don't know if how much battery do i have let's see uh 72 yeah maybe we'll do a dry run it might be fun um okay so contest so three contests and those get you to the uh to the table okay to the table all right and at the table and i think well we two players for sure right now but plus me i'm the dealer and that's a LBS, right? All right, so we don't know who these guys are yet. And they're going to play. We're going to play for a silver round. Uh, or a coin. Uh, it's the ship coin. It's a 2022, oh, what is it? The uh, the Canadian, no, was it? God, I should have grabbed it. Anyways, it's the one I always give out on giveaways. 
Um, so it's one of those. I got like a whole roll or roll tube. Wait, what just happened? Did I touch something? Crap, hold on. Let me try to wipe. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, okay. All right. Let me get my flag over here. All right. Um, okay. So maybe maybe a third player. Well, we're going to put a third player down anyways. Why not? That'll make it even more fun if you have three people to challenge the dealer. I like that. And uh, this is going to be... Uh, I've decided we're going to do Blackjack. Blackjack for the win. Blackjack takes the silver. Okay? For the silver. And that's at the table. Okay? So the contest, the first one, is going to be... Well, keep closing it. Uh, dice. And then cards. And then maybe a third one, which would give us a third player. You see that? Okay. So the first one I've decided, well, let's take some dice. And I've got these, which are really cool. Uh, these are... These are from Gene, Nevada, and this is, uh, I got, no, they're numbered 950, 951, and they're from the, uh, yeah, can you see it? The Gold Strike, yeah, man, the Gold Strike out there in Gene, Nevada, and uh, also I've got two more, because I'm going to use three dice, because we're going to change it up, we're going to, this is a little game I, I thought of, uh, just a way to get random numbers, okay, just... Stay with me here, uh, I, and you, you'll get it at the end. Uh, Red Rock, yep, okay, very cool. Great casino, love that place, so cool. Yeah, so we'll take two Red Rocks, and we'll take a, a Gene Nevada a Gold Strike, and uh, set these aside. And that one goes there, and this one goes here. Okay. I, I collect these things, that's why I got these. They sell them for all, the, all different prices, all different uh, souvenir shops in Vegas here, and uh, they're fun to collect. So the first game is going to take three dice, and we're going to roll three times. I'm going to have a really cool tumbler. Actually, I'm going to have a tumbler that Check Stacker made for me. Actually, a tumbler. He had my logo put on it. It's freaking sick. Oh, my God, it's so sick. And we're going to shake those up in there, and then we're going to – this is how it's going to work. We're going to drop out three, right? So now what have we got? Six. Two, two, and two makes six. So let me give you kind of a little outline of the dice game. So, the dice, the lowest you could get would be three, right? That'd be one, one, and one. Uh, the highest you could get would be 18 because that'd be six, six, and six, correct? Okay, now we're going to do this three times, and we're going to add up whatever that number is. Okay, so it's going to be, so here we go. We got six. Okay, we're going to roll again. And we get six again, okay? So we got six plus six plus, and our third roll is going to be six and three is nine plus three is 12. Okay, that's 12. What does that equal? Well, that equals 24. 24. That's the number. Okay, there you go. I'm going to ask people to pick a number between, so our, our max would be this three times three is nine, three times 18, right? Is 54, is it not? 30, yep, uh, it's 54, okay? So we need a number between 9 and 54, and that's what you're going to need to choose. Oh, yeah, here's the hitch, or the second hitch. Of course, got to be present. It's first hitch uh, to win. Second hitch is uh, um, <laughs> shit. you've got to be first with the number. So I'm going to be telling the people that are in the ch in the at watching the live, pick a number between 9 and 54, now, if you've maybe done a little homework and you've rolled the dice a few times, yeah, it is still random, but there, I, I say there's a bell curve. I, there is definitely a bell curve in this number. So that gives you an advantage right here, okay? I, I think 20, I would pick 27 myself. I just love that, or 29. Uh, but anyway, so there's a little tip for you, okay? So we're going to say 9 to 54. Now, that this, this, this winner, whoever gets the closest to the, the, the actual number or hits the number without going over is the winner of the dice game, okay, of the dice game. So that would be, that would put that person at the table, okay? So that's how that goes. So then the card game, let's get the cards out. So the card game, it can be very similar. We're gonna do three hands and uh, these are probably, oh, wow, they clipped every corner. Check it out, West Tescus, these are yours. I gotta use them one more time here. Um, yeah, 
Very cool. Okay, so they're all in order. All right, so not that it really matters, um, but uh, let's shuffle them up a little bit. Boy, it's been a long time since I shuffled. Well, I should play cards more. I used to play solitaire all the time. And, uh, oh, I played poker for a uh, few months uh, pretty hard with some buddies of mine. That was really cool. I did well. That whole uh, Texas Hold'em with a river card and all that, that's super fun. Uh, yeah, they taught me how to play it, and then I beat them all at it. <laughs> that's all about bluffing. That's all it's about. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so, so for the card section or contest to get a seat at the table, here we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put out three hands. So one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now that's five cards each. So it's five cards stud, okay? And it's just a, a variation of, we're not really playing a poker hand. So this hand right here, we add these up and we get four, four, and four is 12, 22, that's 28, okay? So here's the card section. So it's the cards. So we have a 28. This hand, oh, this adds up to Jack is uh, 11, and 3 is 14, and 9 is 23, plus 3 is 26, so that's 36. And then the final hand, so it's just a way to generate random numbers that should be very fair and very fun and interesting, I believe, anyways. Uh, 8 and 7 is 15, 20, 29, 39. Okay, so we got 39. So what does that add up to? Let me put it in a... Uh, sequence that I can do. 8 and uh, 6 is 14, and 9 is 23, and 2 uh, is 4, and 3 is 7, and 3 is 10. So that's 103 is the number. So, and what's the minimum this could be? Well, that's kind of hard to say because <laughs> if you had all four aces and a 2, okay, that's in one hand, but then that can't happen in every hand. So this part is very, I'm not going to, I'm not going to even say, you know what? I am going to, I'm going to figure out the number. I'm going to figure it out. I will figure out what is the least, like if every single low card was dealt, I'll figure out that number. And then I'll figure out every single high card possible that is in one single deck. Okay. I'll figure out that number. So I will give you guys those parameters. Okay. The, the numbers between the lowest and the highest. I will give you those numbers at time of gameplay. And you pick a number. Again, whoever's the closest without going over that number will be the winner. And if there's a tie, well, then we just do it with those two people until we have a winner, which should be real easy and quick to do, um, whichever game they play. So those there's two games right there, contests, to bring you to the table to play blackjack. And blackjack will go like this. So I got a guy here. I got a guy here. I got me. I'm the dealer. Well, actually, um, let's... Let's go back. Not that it matters the order, but that is the correct order. So I'm going to deal up to whoever that player is. I'm going to deal up to that player, and I'm going to deal down to myself. I'm going to deal up to that player, and I'm going to deal up to that player, and then I'm going to deal up to myself. And I'm showing a king. This guy's got a 10. That guy's got 18. I'm sure this player would take a hit. He gets 20. Boom. This guy, he would probably stand on... I, I would stand on 18, but we don't know what he's going to do. Let's say he stands on 18. Okay, great. Cool. Then I, he stands, I flip over, I've got 14, I take a hit, busted, I bust. So, woo, I, two players only, guys. <laughs> I just figured this out. I don't want to give away more than two pieces of silver. <laughs> oh, look what that. I don't want to give more than two pieces away, so only two players, okay? So that's the game. Those are the rules. It should be fun. It's in about two weeks in the morning. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, anybody's got any questions? Uh, do I have time to go back to school? Yes, you do. You have two weeks for listening to uh, night classes because you're always out in the morning riding your bike. So hit those night classes. And yeah, man, you'll get it. <laughs> I mean, Zoltan, yeah, I'm looking forward to that mail. Uh, it should be coming soon. Uh, low and high. Oh, low, low is six and 59. No, actually, because, yeah, it, it's kind of crazy. So if you had four aces uh okay here, here you go yeah four aces okay and a two okay uh that ace there it is so right there that would be that would be a six right but that's only one hand 
because we're adding the three hands together just to make it a bigger number, a more chance for people to uh, possibly, you know, a, a wider spread, I guess, of numbers, the random numbers. So that'd be six. So, and then you think, well, the next uh, hand would have to be three twos, right? And that would be six plus two threes. Uh, that would be, so it would be 12. Uh, so six plus 12 would be 18. So the next hand would be two threes and uh, yeah, I almost figured it out. So it's probably around 24 is the lowest. And then it's got, it would be, yeah, again, you've got to kind of subtract the other cards because there's only one deck. It's only one deck here. So yeah. And I will figure those numbers out just to make it simple. So I don't have people taking guesses that are crazy. So they blow their chance. I, you know, I want everyone to have a fair shot at this and yeah, you've got to be quick on the draw. Okay. Quick on the draw. Like uh, it, I'm going to go through the numbers on the chat the feed and the first person to have the number wins, not, you know, I'm not, Oh, everyone had 21 or everyone had 75. No, 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 no. And if there is a tie, we'll just, we'll just do a roll off or, a, you know, we'll, we'll do a, a quick hand of blackjack, whatever it takes. It'll only take a second. So you won't have to be there too, too long. Should be fun. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna kind of excited about it. So yeah, I just realized I might be giving away two pieces of silver because if you have a, yeah, the house, the house has got to pay the all winners, all winners get paid in this house. Um, and uh, yeah, sometimes the house wins. So hopefully it's not anticlimactic and you guys go home boohoo and uh, no, but you won't. The people at the table, like I said, you get a tattoo, you get a sticker and yes, sir, you get a poker chip. Just for playing, just for being cool, man. Right on. Well, that's that. Um, I think I'm about done. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to do was maybe take this shot of uh, this Bundaberg that Peter J sent me and show you guys a uh, one of the really cool coins. Let me throw that on, on top of the flag. Okay. Um, yeah, check this. Look at this, man. Check. What? 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 I don't even know. He he hooked me up. He gave me this kookaburra. Oh, man, this guy. What? He's just so cool. Yeah, he sent me cards. He's like saying thanks for the worldwide community. Thanks you from, from Peter J. And man, he got he sent me socks. He sent me whiskey. He sent me everything. Look at these. I think he and West Texas were doing the same Amazon shopping, man. They were in the same category. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Even uh, I got Australian citizenship going on. Look at this. I think it's just brass, base metal, or something. But man, it, still, I'm a citizen, bro. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, uh, yeah. He sent coffee. He sent chocolates. Oh, he's got a, a, for my beer. Freaking koozie from Australia. Uh, look at these. He's got the queen. He's got the queen on him, man. Chocolates with the queen. Who? Where do you find these? Well, I guess Melbourne. <laughs> anyway, I was blocking the light. It's right there. There we go. All right, so we got 10 people in the house. I think I'm about finished. Um, Akadaka is the man. He sure is. How you doing, Homestead? So good to see you, man. Uh, Zoltan, uh, is always uh, good to see Zoltan. I got some mail coming from him, which I'm excited about. Uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, okay. Uh, Kevin Hawthorne. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, Lakeland, Florida. That's right. Uh, you sent me a bunch of uh, emails with uh, TV articles, uh, uh, snippets from, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Kevin Hawthorne, he works uh, the Citrus, uh, Citrus Bus Line Terminal. He volunteers his time. And uh, he is uh, like a fixture in the community down there in Florida. Yes, he is. And uh, ah, very cool to get to know you, uh, Kevin. Very cool. Yeah, I'll be watching more of those videos you sent me. Thank you. And and our articles from, yeah, he's been in the newspaper and on TV and the news. Yeah, he sure has. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, Long Live Coins, what's going on? Yeah, great guy, Kevin Hawthorne. Oh, yeah, he's been uh, in a lot of, I've seen, that's where I saw him. I think that's where I followed uh, Kevin from uh, or subscribed or whatever. Yep, I think that's, yep, yep, yep. When I have moderator powers. Oh, wait, speaking of moderator powers, Homestead, what? Did did you do something bad and I kicked you out of being a moderator? I doubt it. I really doubt it. Uh, I don't know why I never made you a monitor. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, Homestead. Yeah, you you want to check it out. Try something. Are you blue? I think it changed you. All right, cool. Cool, cool. All right, well, yeah, so you guys got the scoop, man. So you know about the dice, right? We're uh, we're doing three rolls. We're adding up the numbers uh, and the cards. We're doing the, the same thing, three hands, and we're adding up the numbers. Of course, so ace is one, two, three of the numbers. Uh, jacks are 11, queens are 12, and kings are 13 points. So, yeah, so I'm going to figure out exactly what those parameters are for the numbers. And then people, whoever, you know, shoot, pew, 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 go fast, shoot, go, go. I'll say one, two, three, ready, and then drop. And whoever gets the closest or hits the number will be sitting at the table to win a piece of silver. Yeah. You might both win. You might both lose. Maybe one wins. Maybe one. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. It should be fun. It's like live gambling, but don't tell anybody. Shh, shh, shh. Don't tell anybody. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's it. So, um... God, I don't even know what to play. I'm just on my little acoustic today, and uh, I thought I'd play something for you guys to get out of here. Um, we could outro it. Uh, God, what comes to mind? I, I was trying to learn this one, but it's really hard. recognize that one it's supposed to be more than a feeling by boston yeah but bad with names <laughs> along with coin well at least you uh it sounded somewhat familiar <laughs> that's a good 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 sign all right man well, you guys uh yeah uh, please like comment share subscribe all that great stuff and uh i gotta get out there more and watch i realized this morning i need to go through my comments and anybody who's commenting to me go watch their stuff two or three of their videos uh i think if we all did that for each other it would be a, a really good thing to do um, you know, make sure you're like kind of caught up with, with with people and the people that are that are talking to you right now, you know, because it seems like this is a river and people come and go. So the people that are always commenting on your videos, coming to your lives, or they're, they're, you know, even putting up just a thumbs up in the comments on, on a short, you know, just anything. Go go hang with those people because that's that's your support base. Those are the people that <laughs> love you the most. So uh, that's where I'm going to be heading, you guys. So all everyone here today, expect a visit from me in the next uh, couple of days. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start going through my comments. Uh, actually, commenting back, replying to. Some, I have some that are two months old, and uh, yeah, just trying to catch up and touch base with everyone that uh, that spends their time with me. And uh, so I, I want to give back. Yep, yeah, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out. <laughs> anyway, I got a lot to do. Uh, my mom's having an operation here real soon, but. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get at it. Yeah, thanks for coming by, Scott Silver. Uh, William E., thank you so much. Always good to see you guys. Long live coins. Oh, fuck, I got to send you. Uh, I got to pay my bill, long lived. Uh, yeah, I picked up that half ounce, whatever it was. Uh, I'll do that soon, I promise. Homestead Aquarius, good to see you, man. Blister and Barnacles, all right. Always good to see you. Um, everybody here, Stack Attacker Wager. I think Silver and Cigars was in the house for a little bit. Uh, Zoltan was here uh yeah west texas was here early on i don't know if you stayed yep good we've got uh we've got homestead as a moderator now right on yeah i think i'm gonna get some moderator uh stickers made up and send those to i have a lot of moderators i think more than 50 so maybe i might have to get two batches of stickers but i i've got some really really cool moderator slaps that i think everyone who is on my channel who hangs out who comes often and that's why you're a moderator um you should have a really cool moderator sticker so we're gonna be doing that soon so i'm gonna um outro you guys have a good one man and uh we'll see you again soon you know why the turtle is on there the tortex i don't know if you can see that really good uh because they used to make guitar picks out of tur tortoise shell and it became illegal in like 1963 but now they make tortex which is a plastic <laughs> A little fun guitar note for you guys. All right. <laughs>
I'm slipping. I should have put my strap on. <laughs> quite the same effect or impact as the electric guitar <laughs> but it's still fun you guys have a great day man peace out ciao y'all don't forget to stay shiny later